So today we're going to look at upgrading some of the monitors. Um, so we're going to look at upgrading the internal ones, uh, what that actually means in the sense of we want to keep the original casings because all the original lever is trimmed around these, but we want to be replacing the internals and the two in the side windows as well. The side window ones that we have uh, are going to be an upgrade and they're going to be bigger. Then we will look at the wiring involved in uh, setting all of these up originally and then the more modern stuff that we're replacing it with. So the, the seven inch screens that were in the rear, the um, six and a half inches that were in the side pods and then the two ones that I put in into the sides. These are S-Video boost signal boosters because as you can imagine it's splitting the signal multiple times across all the screens um, and then an absolute rat's nest to wire in. So RCA cables, the, the majority of the rest of the wiring is all original. So that's the old stuff coming out. Now I'll run through the new stuff going back in. So we've got a 4K HDMI splitter, which is a nine port splitter. So essentially from every, the audio, from the visual input, it would go in here and then we can split across the nine monitors just using a HDMI cable. That'll transmit sound and video all in one. So all we need to run to each screen is a HDMI cable and a five volt um, power. These are the new screens that will be going to the side windows. So we're going from a six inch screen to an 11 inch screen. Um, and then once you see it, I'll give you some reference to technology and the size difference from 2000 until now. This is the original seven inch screen and that's the metal components on the rear. Um, and all of that now gets replaced by this. I think you agree, it's a nice, much nicer upgrade than the one that was in there. The biggest difference though is the brightness, it's a lot brighter. They're one of the smaller things, so there's a nice upgrade to it without losing the carrots of the car.